Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a brand new episode of All The Mods 9. Yes, 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 we are back and uh, can you see all this mess that is around me, all these storage uh, units that we have? Well, I think my friends, it's time to clean all this up and make a new uh, storage system and that comes on the form of uh, the refined storage mod, which is going to be pretty impressive the idea today is to make sure that uh, we uh, make a maybe a 64k storage system which will be able to storage up to 64,000 items my god guys goodness me that is great and we are going to clean up all this mess and make this to look a bit nicer that said i'm going to show you something very quickly as well and that's part of the mine colonies uh, mod which we are doing look at this we have now the builder's uh, home uh, and that is well, because he needs a home he used to be very unhappy because he didn't have a home but now he has a home and as you can see here is conrad waiting for more work uh, the next thing that he wants is a barrack or a guard but uh, yeah you can remind me later i'll work on it and as you can see uh, nothing else to do for a minute so one thing they would like to do is to ensure because if we look into uh, the uh, housing the only one that have a house is Conrad. The rest are homeless, so that's not a very good thing, I am afraid. So maybe we can actually build a house for these guys very quickly. But uh, maybe in the next episode, guys, because we need to concentrate today on the uh, storage system from the uh, refined storage mode, which I really want to touch on. I made a nice uh, little uh, changes around here just to make things a bit nicer. And something else that I want to do very quickly, if you remember on the last episode, we did these um, metallurgic infusers to create a uh, basic control circuits. And of course, we make as well, uh, not that one, uh, uh, the infused alloy as well. So those can go on the uh, system just to uh, ensure they win it in the future. Well, we have it there. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a very interesting episode. I'm hoping that we are going to be able to create this new storage system. So if we look at the uh, quest line, we have a refined storage in here. And uh, I think that the best thing that we can do to start begin with is going to be the refined storage. And then we are going to do this uh, disk drive as well, which we are going to need. And then finally, we are going to create the grid. And with that, my friends, we are going to be able to make the 64,000 unit. Uh, you can see a little plus in here. That means that when we... Uh, reach that point in here this is going to unlock new possibilities of storage units so uh, yeah it's going to be impressive let's try to do this um let's go back to the quest and create this uh, controller the controller is going to be important so refine storage is a mass storage mod that offers a network based storage system to get started with the mod, you'll want to make a controller. And that is exactly what we are going to do. Now, to make a controller, well, it requires a few things in here. We need silicon, we need a machine casing, a few things. But uh, I'm pretty sure that we are going to be able to make these things. So let's make a controller. And uh, that is going to be this baby in here. So uh, that is what we are going to do. Okay, guys, so let's try to uh, make this thing. I think, oh, the only thing that we need is a, mach ma a machine case in which I'm pretty sure that we can make that. And I think it's going to be one of these. Yeah, machine casing is going to be there. And very simple, we need quartz enriched uh, iron. And then we need a, a block in there, which is not going to be that difficult. We can make one of those. And the next thing, of course, is going to be the controller. That is going to be very interesting, actually. So let's make this thing and uh, control it is. Now we have a controller as well. So the next quest is going to ask us for different things. Uh, we have the uh, uh, controller is done, but for whatever reason, it's not ticking on the fact that... Oh, there you have it. Now it's come in. I was going to say, it's not giving me the fact that we don't the uh, quest. And that's important because this thing can give us actually really good stuff and uh, especially this basic part which we are going to need advanced processes improved processes uh, destruction processes we are going to need some of those so uh, let's grab that one and we got a quartz enriched iron and uh, we got a basic processor as well which is very nice thank you very much uh, the next thing uh, we are going to need a wrench as well i think at some point so um yeah this type of wrench we are going to need at some point so may as well do it now as well can we do this straight away let me let me figure out if we can actually do this through the system 
Uh, can we make you my friend? I think we can. There you have it. Now we have that one. And the quest should, there you have it, should kick in as well. So, oh my God, I'm looking forward to this, uh, guys. Uh, what is going to give us? Okay, uh, Quartz and Rich Iron. We are going to have quite a lot of those, by the way. Okay, so now that we have, um, as you can see, we have uh, the controller, we have uh, the wrench as well. I already made a 64,000 storage part, which I will show you how to do it in a minute. Before doing that, we can actually check all the modium uh, quests as well. We, we have uh, the teleport part that we did not that long ago. We got a diamond. Well, uh, welcome to that as well. Thank you very much. And uh, we are going to get back to the refined storage mode, as you can see here. Now, the uh, next thing is going to be create a disk drive. To store your items, you will need to create disks that are stored in a disk drive. Now, this is important, guys, because if we go back to the storage mode, you can actually create different disks, as you can see uh, in here, which uh, they have different uh, storage uh, capabilities, as you can see. You have all these things in here, which are pretty cool. You have one storage, uh, 1K storage disk in there. You have four, you have 16, and 64 obviously and this is the one that we are going to go for so uh, let's go back again to uh, the quest and hopefully we can actually start making a disk drive so that is the next thing that we are going to need so to make it we are going to need a machine um, a machine casing and we are going to need an advanced processor and advanced processors are not that difficult to make really you need a basic processor which is made with a robot stick processors and to do that what you need is silicon redstone iron ingot and processor building which is not that difficult to obtain really guys so uh, keep that in mind as well that uh, at the end of the day it's quite simple things to make so don't think for a minute it's going to take you uh, that long so uh, this drive and uh, let's see if we can make it again through the system and the disk drive is going to be right here so can we make it uh, no we are going to need another machine casing so let's do that very quickly Okay, guys, so machine case it is. There you have it. And now we can go back to the disk uh, drive and hopefully we can make this thing happen. There you have it. Now we have as well the disk drive. Oh my goodness, so many things happening. So we have the diamonds in here and we have the basic processors that we just got from the quest line. And look at that. Now this has opened up. And one thing that we are going to need is a storage housing. It's going to be interesting. But most interesting in this uh, mod is that you can actually go to infinite a uh, type of infinite fluid storage part that that will allow you to uh, store infinite amount of items which i think is pretty cool so we have the disk drive and we are going to get from the uh, another enriched iron quartz and uh, this one is going to give us a improved processor which is not that bad really when you think about it uh, maybe we can actually go and try to make a grid as well great we can store items virtually but how do you we see uh, how do we see what is on the network to access the system you will need to create a grid the grid is the most basic form of display for the items in your inventory so there you have it we need to create a, a grid so let's go, go on through that as well and you go back to the uh, quest line i can actually start building it from here which i think is pretty pretty cool so that is the grid which i think is going to be one of these uh, guys in here yeah there you have it in here oh man oh man uh it's getting interesting indeed so there you have it uh, what do you need is uh, some tinted glass we are going to need a destruction course improved processors as well and a, a construction core as well in there as you can see so this con this con destruction core a construction core and two improved processor and we have plenty of uh, those and certainly we have plenty of uh, black stain uh, glass i think that we have yeah black stain uh, that we uh, already made uh, before so uh, another machine machine chasing if i can say yeah let's make another one of those very quickly okay and with that we have the machine i think i'm going to make a couple of those because it keep happening that uh, we cannot make it so there you have it that's what we're going to do and i think it's going to be the grid right here can we make it now yes we can there you have it now we have the grid as well so to do that what we're going to do as well is to put the machine casing back into the system because we don't need it this is getting a bit uh, too much for a minute and of course we just unlocked 
Yeah, we just unlocked the uh, access in the network. And now what can we get from here? Well, a, a machine casing, by the way, there you have it. We got one of those. And this is going to be uh, one of uh, the uh, basic parts that we are going to need. So we have a 61% to get a basic, basic processor, 30% to get an improved processor, and a 769 of an advanced processor, which it could be nice. Yeah, it's going to be an improved processor, but it's fine. It's fine. Everything is working well. Oh my God. Uh, what about the, this lets you access your storage, but with a crafting table. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's be honest. No one just uses regular grids. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Yeah. I think that we are going to need a crafting grid as well. So, um, Let's make one of these guys as well. Crafting grid is going to be. And to do that, I'm going to go back to that and trying to make it through here. It's going to be crafting grid. Okay, guys. So uh, we are able to make it straight away. And uh, hopefully uh, we are going to need an advanced processor, as you can see. Uh, that said, do we have an advanced processor already there? If we don't, no, we don't have one. So we are going to have to make one of these guys, if I can find it, uh, is going to be that one in there. And uh, to make it, we are going to need a raw advanced processor. And then we are going to need the same, but with a diamond. Uh, so let's make one of those very quickly, if we can make it. There you have it. There we have one of those. I'm going to make a couple of those, maybe five of those. That would be great. So let's go back to the advanced processor, as you can see in there. Oh, dear me. Uh, it, it takes some time, that is for sure, to, to make these things. But uh, once you have it, it's actually quite straightforward, so don't think it's so complicated. You can stop the video and, and you know, look step by step if you want to. But in a sense, this is going to help us to storage some multitude of uh, items. So worth it to do at this point, guys. Okay, guys, so we are at the uh, Ion Furnace. As you can see, we actually uh, melting the raw advanced processors. And with that, we will get an advanced processor. And yes, guys, as we wait for this to happen, please like, comment, and subscribe, please. That would be great if we could do that. And uh, yeah, don't forget that we have daily uploads, by the way. So uh, let's carry on with this thing, shall we? Okay, so we have five advanced processors. Thank you very much. Let's go put it back to uh, the uh, system, and then we can actually start creating the rest of the items that we need to set this thing up. Something else that we are going to need is to uh, ensure that we have a designated area for this thing. And uh, I was thinking uh, to change this positioning because I would like to actually uh, make a housing here for the next um, uh, NPC and uh, a farm landing here. I think that could look very, very good, but uh, uh, not too sure we are going to be able. And uh, at the moment, what we need certainly is to uh, ensure that we clean up all this mess in here. So once it's done, then we are going to decide what to do. So going back to the quest line, we said that uh, we need to create this uh, crafting grid, and that is the one we are going to do. Yeah, it's going to be that one. So let's make it very quickly. Uh, crafting grid in that, and uh, that is going to be the crafting grid indeed. There you have it. Now we have the crafting grid, we have the controller, and we have the disk drive. So now that we have the quest unlocked as well, I think the next thing that we are going to need uh, let me check what we get. A machine casing and a crafting grid. Oh, a, a machine casing. That is the reward, of course. And we are going to get another improved processor. We are getting quite a lot of these things, which is not bad at all. But uh, the next thing, of course, is going to be able the storage housing. This is really important. It is time to create the hard drives of refined storage. To do this, we'll need a storage housing that will combine with a storage part to create a storage disk. Just simply make the desired side of part, then combine with the housing to create a disk. So as you can see, I already have my storage part and I make a 64 storage part, which is, by the way, this thing here. It's not that difficult to make, but will take some time to make it. And that or hence why I don't start away, because uh, you are going to need to uh, come down to all these different parts to one uh, K storage. I think that you're going to need a total of 28, I think, one storage part to actually end up making this thing in here. So that is why I done it already. Oh man, okay, let's go back to this a second, shall we? Because this is getting very interesting indeed, indeed. So we, make, uh, we need to make a storage uh, housing, as you can see there. 
So uh, let's see if we can actually make it. And I'm going to put a uh, housing in here uh, to narrow down what we need to do. Uh, not difficult to make at all. So there you have it. Uh, let's make this thing as well. And as you can see, we have the storage housing uh, made there as well. So let's put that as well. And I think it's time to put all these things together, guys. Something else that we're going to need is going to be a solar panel because this thing has to be powered with something. And I think I have two of the basics yes uh, i'll take one that's the one i'm going to need oh my god guys uh, it's getting interesting let me put back things that i don't need at this point and that is part of the rewards okay let's make this thing happen guys okay guys so the next thing is going to be combining the uh, 64,000 storage part with the uh, housing that's going to give us the actual storage disk that is what we are going to need guys this is what is going to store the whole system and the whole amount of items that we need so with that in mind guys i think it's time you know what i think i'm going to place it down here you know i think that uh, uh, if we place it here we can clear up this mess out because uh, one thing that we are going to have to do is to break everything up uh, manually uh, yeah we are going to have to pass everything in here to the new system guys so that is the way it's going to go but uh, we will have a very nice and clean new system so let's do it guys okay guys so let's do this thing let's go place the disk drive goes first and uh, obviously the next thing that we are going to need is going to be the crafting grid and uh, i'm going to place it right there uh, the next thing is going to be the controller which is going to be on the top let me see if i can reach in here uh, without making a mess of myself uh, yeah uh, that you can see uh, a little light going in there as well and uh, uh, finally we are going to need the solar panel at the top uh, now that's going to be a bit difficult at the moment although because we have uh, the jet as you can see hopefully we can install that in there uh, if i can actually uh, no it's going it's going to be difficult let me let me just grab a uh, let me let me let me switch this thing off this is so annoying guys but uh, uh, okay so this is where we go so far guys so we have the disk drive the crafting grid the controller and now we need to power it and we are going to power it with the solar panel okay guys very quickly i just took a couple of blocks that i had in there and uh, this is what is going to happen we are going to place the uh, solar panel right then as you can see now it's starting to power up and that is exactly what we want uh, thank you very much and uh, next thing is going to be just uh, start placing the um the uh, storage stick so that's going to be interesting let me put back all these things that we need in here let me put my wrench in there as well clean up the mess for a minute uh, but there you have it so this so far my friends is the storage look that's the crafting grid and this is the controller you can see look at that uh, it doesn't take that long to actually uh, power up these things so uh, that is the good thing about it but with that in mind, uh, let's go to the disk drive and let's put our little 64,000 storage disk. Oh my God, isn't it gorgeous? Okay, this is just incredible. Okay, so the next thing is, yeah, it's going to be to unload everything from these barrels and put it into the new crafting grid system in here. And as you can see, yeah, I mean, this, this is going to go forever, guys. So the best thing to do... Oh man, the best thing to do is going to be, yeah. Okay, so let me do a couple of things before starting. And that is going to be just uh, getting rid of things that I have here that I'm not going to need that much. Let me equip my shield so I can make an extra space in here. Because uh, one thing is going to happen, guys, is that we are going to have a lot. I mean, a lot of things to uh, load into here and load in from here. So the best thing to do, uh, grab this thing quickly okay guys so we carry on breaking all these barrels and as you can see they are not completely full in this side but i think it's important that uh, we collect everything we can and transfer it uh, straight away into the system mainly because i want to show you how it works uh let me see if we can collect any more things yeah you can see now they're starting to drop things so if we go back to the system in there oh my god as you can see uh, yeah look uh the amount of items that are coming oh my god and so uh, you can see here at the top it says 400 don't think it's not working because it's working as you can see at the top it's starting to bring everything look at this it's incredible the amount of items that are there that we need to uh, <laughs> it's just so many guys incredible 
All right, well, uh, this is pretty much how we do it. It gets centralized in this system, which I think is very, very nice. It's going to be very, very clean. Just to give you a brief idea how this works. That is a 64,000 items storage unit in here. That's going to be clean. It's going to give us uh, plenty of space to do many more things as well. So it's not just the fact that it's going to be uh, a bit more neat and clean and simple, as you can see. We can actually put more things around here. And these things, my friend, oh, my friend, I'm guessing as well, and this is something that I really don't know, but I'm guessing that you can start carrying putting more uh, storage disks in here and say, oh, my God, you match again. Look at that. We only have 4,000 uh, already in there, 6% full, and we haven't even started yet, so this is why eventually this barrel system is going to get very, very uh, limited to actually a storage. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, let's carry on putting some more in there. Oh my god, this is just it's just ridiculous how many items you can actually put in this in this uh, thing. And of course, I remember as well that we have the mob farming there as well, which most more uh, items as well that we need to press in here. Oh man, this is getting interesting to say the least. But uh, uh, above all, I just wanted to show you how that works, guys. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you could. That would be great as well, guys, because it helps the channel a lot. And it definitely motivates me to carry on doing uh, things like this for you guys. So if you could, that would be great. Guys, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next daily upload, guys. Until then, take great care.